Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another video of VMware Virtualization and in this video we will discuss about how to add our domain controller to ESXi vSpace 1.0. We also try to understand about the concept and uh, we need to know about why domain is important for virtual environment because you know that if we talk about the use of domain controllers so by using the domain machine we are able to control our client operating system like as a based on windows 7 windows 10 or windows 8 we are properly able to manage uh, domain user account we are able to execute the policy and uh, we are able to monitor our client uh, clients activity as well but if we talk about our virtualization so let's talk about the usage means why uh, which types of tasks are performed by the domain controller in VMware virtualization so guys uh, as we know that in case of uh, VMware whenever we establish our entire environment by using a uh, multiple ESXi and vCenter servers so domain can play a unique role because with the help of domain controller you are able to manage your user account the user account that you want to log in with the help of ESXi Second, uh, domain is also responsible to manage the timing means NTP service which is managed and handled by the domain controller only and uh, uh, the another important task of domain controller in vSphere environment it's a, a vCenter server installation means if you want to install a vCenter server based on uh, ISO image or you want to install a vCenter server appliance so in both cases you must need to establish at least one domain controller in our VMware environment. So let's try to understand about the about the features related to the domain controller and usage of our domain. So guys, for example, we have a uh, two different ESXi, right? This is the ESXi host one and ESXi host two, and uh, we are planning to establish our domain controller, right? We not 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 establish. We are, we want to connect our ESXi host with our domain controller. So in our case, what I did, I installed a one domain controller with name of class.com, right? This is the uh, domain name class.com that uh, I installed on uh, server 2016, right? And uh, this is our ESXi host, ESXi 7.01, ESXi 7.02, right? We have a two different ESXi. It may be you can consider one because our agenda uh, we will follow the same step to convert multiple ESXi we, we, uh, whenever you try to convert your ESXi whenever you try to make the part of domain controller so we will follow the same step and our agenda to just make a connection with our domain controller like as if we compare our it in on-premises environment so you know that whenever you install uh, windows operating system like windows client operating system 7 8 or 10 so by default your machine uh, will be a part of work group but if you want to convert it uh, into the domain controller you need to open computer properties and go to the uh, change option then you are able to make a changes means you 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 are able to convert your work group machine to domain like that in case of ESXi we also follow this uh, less, uh, like a step uh, to convert our domain so but another important topic is related to why domain is important in virtual environment so um, I'm just going to give you the unique role of our domain controller in our VMA virtualization the first and important part is related for name resolution So as you know that in our environment, we are able to ping our ESXi with the help of IP address of ESXi and with the help of name of ESXi, we are able to communicate like that. Only it only happen because you establish our domain controller and with the help of DNS services, you are able to resolve the name to IP and IP to the name. So first option is related to the name resolution. Second is related to user management. Right, so user management, I'm talking about the permissions. So basically, if you want to convert, if you want to control your ESXi with the help of uh, domain user, so uh, act, domain, uh, if you converted your ESXi to the part of domain controller, you are able to control your ESXi with the help of active active user. Third step is related to the NTP management, NTP server, uh, time management, you can say that. And fourth is related to the vCenter server if you want to install your vCenter server so you must need to establish at least one 
domain controller in our environment means without domain controller without domain machine we are unable to install vcenter server or vcenter appliance so these all are the uh, you can say that a uh, unique features which is contained by the uh, domain controller so i'm just going to show you the step and before that i need to describe about the prerequisite means about our setup this is the esxi host 192.168.1.19 and we are able to find only the IP address we are unable to uh, we are unable to see any name related to the ESXi and this is our server 2016 operating system and uh, we install our domain controller with name of class.com so everything is fine we have a proper uh, I mean so setup uh, to manage the activity so I'm going to show you the step uh, to convert your ESXi to, 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 to uh, add your domain controller to ESXi host this is the IP address that we can use to access our ESXi in GUI. So I'm just going to open it to ES, uh, access ESXi host. Just type the IP address of uh, your ESXi over uh, um, any browser and we need to use root and password that you used while installation of ESXi and try to log in in GUI panel. So now we successfully log in our ESXi in, uh, with the help of web browser and let me verify your system is connected with domain or not because it's not connected because it just display your local host dot local domain. So it means that is, you are still in work group. So I is enter to convert our ESXi from uh, convert to, to convert our ESXi from work group to uh, domain controller you can say that. So what you need to do just need to click on manage which is available in host option go to the security user and security uh, and uh, we just need to click on authentication whenever you click on authentication it give you option domain join but unfortunately we are not connected with any domain controller so i'm just going to show you the prerequisite or pre settings that you need to configure before joining the domain need to verify the domain controller details like uh, in our case ncpa.cpl i'm just going to no, no, not required i think okay let me uh, disable and enable it because we are unable to resolve the name of our uh, uh, domain cool so we are able to find class.com in our domain controller is working properly i want to verify the ip address 192.168.1.25 and preferred DNS IP address is also 25. So no need to do anything and we know very well about the username and password that we use to log in our domain controller. So everything is okay. Back to the ESXi and in DCUI panel, this is the DCUI panel. You just need to type F2. Log in your system in DCUI. Okay, just give me one minute guys. Okay, so what you need to do, you just need to, actually I'm using remote desktop connection. Uh, that's why uh, facing uh, some issues related to uh, login our ESXi in this UI mode. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect it again. And as we know that, uh, uh, the panel is considered as a DCUI direct console user interface. So what we need to do, we successfully check the IP address of our domain controller. So our domain controller IP address is 192.168.1.25, right? So this is the IP address of our preferred DNS as well. Now, I'm just going to configure the preferred DNS IP address in our DCUI mode. So open your uh, DCUI panel and Go to the network management and IPv4 and I'm just going to use the same IP address as a static right so you just need to press the spacebar after selecting the set is static press enter to save this is the first step second you need to configure the DNS open the DNS configuration and in the DNS configuration as we check our IP address means for uh, preferred DNS is 25.192.168.1.25. We don't have any alternate DNS, so I'm going to use 8.8.8. .8 .8. It's a cloud. It's a Google address. Basically, type the host name. 
so I'm just going to provide the host name is ESXi okay just click OK and last step you need to configure custom DNS suffix so in custom DNS suffix you need to type the name of your ESXi that's it press enter to OK and press skip to save the entire setting that you did and press Y to save the environment now we successfully saved the entire setting related to the domain conversion so I'm just going to back our back uh, to our browser and uh, let's try to join our ESXi to domain controller so what we need to, to do just need to open the GUI panel of ESXi and uh, still available ESXi and just need to click manage go to the security and users click join and type the name of your domain controller so our domain controller name is class.com right and you need to provide the username and password so username you must need to use local administrator and password should be a that you configure while installation of your domain so I'm just going to check it click join and wait for a few seconds if everything is okay our system will be successfully convert to domain controller will be a part of domain Still is running. You need to wait up to 30 to 40 seconds. Do not refresh, do not uh, ch uh, close the wizard. Everything is fine. We are able to, we successfully join our domain controller, means our ESX is successfully joined to the domain controller class.com domain name status is okay everything is fine let me verify the name of our esxi now it become esxi is our uh, esxi name means a host name and class.com is our domain the fully qualified domain name is esxi.class.com this is the procedure that you can use to convert our esxi from workgroup to domain you can say that in layman term you can say that uh, you successfully converted your workgroup uh, esxi to domain controller right and uh, I, I just want to verify means the information about the ESXi that we converted so what we need to do I'm just going to open uh, dsa.msc means it will be redirect you on the page of uh, Active Directory user and computers and in this part I need to check go to the computers and it gives you the complete information means we successfully added our ESXi and you are able to find the same ESXi name in computers go to the properties and give you the complete information like this is the part of uh, esxi.class.com so guys this is the way to convert your uh, ESXi to be a part of domain controller and next I'll guide you how you can use that active active user to log in our ESXi host but not now in next video we'll give you the complete information to use your domain controllers user uh, to log in and control your ESXi for now take care bye bye thank you guys and please uh, do subscribe and let me know if you have any question or doubt bye bye guys